All right, YouTube, it's Friday. Uh, kind of a nasty day outside. And I want to make another video about installing ID hard drives in a desktop PC. I just got these on eBay. And I've had them about a day now. Uh, I'm going to open the box, show you what came in it. And I'll be back with you in a couple minutes. And here's what I got in the box. It is five IBM DeskStar 40 gigabyte hard drives. And I ended up installing one or two of these. I haven't decided into this old gateway. It's a AMD Athlon 950 megahertz model. And I will be installing them right there. Now the first thing you want to do whenever installing ID hard drive is check and make sure that your jumpers are set correctly. Now in this case, this computer I have decided is only going to have one hard drive. So what I need to do is make sure that it is set to the master setting. And most hard drive manufacturers put in some type of key as they've done here. And as you can see, it is set into the master setting. So now what I need to do to put it in this computer, and Gateway makes this very easy, choose one of the three available slots right here. In this case, I'm going to use the middle one. You insert the drive. And it is kind of tight. You want to make sure you put it in firmly, but don't push too hard. And then this little lever on the side here, push down to lock it in. There you go. Now you have two connections. Your IDE cable plugs in right there. Make sure you do not bend any of your pins when you're doing this. And then you have your power cable. And there you have it. We have installed an IE 40 gigabyte ID hard drive into this old gateway tower. Now I'm going to be doing a video later on about installing the operating system. Again, just as a recap, whenever installing an ID hard drive into a computer, first thing you need to do is make sure you do have your jumper settings proper. If you do not, in most computers it is a hassle because they are very hard to get into once you put everything back together. Any questions, just go ahead and write me an email. Thanks everybody.